okay uh, in the last week we just learn about uh, uh, this uh, some batteries dry cell batteries and simple cell so that is not a dry cell but simple cell battery dry cell battery as well as uh, these uh, secondary cell the primary cell and the secondary cell batteries we just learn about that the primary cells are basically uh, non rechargeable batteries dry cells and the secondary cells uh, it can even be a dry cell or it can be a chemical cells or these are but basically the secondary cells are uh, rechargeable the simple uh, one was simple this is the simple cell the problem of the simple cell is it's not portable it's not possible to it's possible but it's very difficult to move it from one place to another place and yes it is possible to recharge uh, based on like we can ionize and uh, we can do that but the thing is it's a so kind of uh, inconvenient setup so when you are using so that is what we dis uh, discussed in the last week now uh, another thing is solar cell this is recently or nowadays very popular mechanism solar then ukula dekala athi man hitane godak tengala aluthen lankave dena power prashnet ekta current prashnet ekta solar thama apita pena tanaga thiyena visadu ekane ikmant apita patan ganna puluwan it is like immediately we can uh, start uh, setting up that and also we have since we are uh, closer we are uh, we are somewhere in the middle of the earth so it's possible to uh, like it's possible to obtain some sun uh, light during the day and uh, actually most of the day we we, we get the sunlight right so the percentage of sunlight so if you just see so different countries will get different percentages here uh, countries percentage of sunlight you can see so different countries will get different amount that's a nice illustration let's see whether we can see that mm. okay uh what this All right uh even this let me show mm. or oh, amount of sunlight mm. amount of sunlight still we are getting the same map i i just saw a globe with the amount not this one but this is some closer so some countries uh, they have long nights and long days even because of the uh, position in the world globe so where it is positioned so because of that they will sometimes spend long nights and sometimes long days right here we are in the middle so we get like uh, we get a lot of sunlight during the day but this there are some countries having seasons winter autumn summer so this uh, the countries having season they will not get the same level of sunlight throughout the year because they are more, uh, maybe in the northern hemisphere or maybe southern so they are not getting the sunlight properly uh, so some days they are getting but uh, basically in some periods they are not getting enough sunlight so countries like norway in northern hemisphere you can see so the day day time and the night time it's not like we have like similar so almost uh, like uh, we have uh, so in the morning and morning seven evening seven if you analyze we will get like closer to 12 hours uh, sunlight closer to 12 hours not 12 hours but closer to 12 hours hours we will get but uh, there are countries so for them it is not available like samar ratawal thiyena de samakasana ratak ide apita 150 ak day ek 150 ak night ek thiyena hade samar ratawal thiyena ehema nathi me uttaradrave dakshinadrave thiyena ratawal visheshayenma 
නෝවේ වගේ රටවල් වල තියෙනවා දිග රාත්‍රිය වගේම දිග දවස් තියෙන විදිහක් තියෙන හේතුව මේ ඉර සමහර ළඟ ඉර බහින්නේ හැබැයි ඉර ඈත තියෙනවා සමහර ළඟ ඉර පායන්නේ නැහැ ඒ වගේ ලොන්ග් ඩේස් තියෙන නෝ තියෙනවා රටවල් තියෙනවා ආජන්ට් මෙන් සොරි මෙන් මෙන් ඇන්ටාක්ටිකා ඒ වගේ රටවල් වලට ඉර ඒරිය වැටෙන විදිය හරි වෙනස් සමහර ළඟ වැඩි පුර වෙනවා සමහර ළඟ අඩු හැබැයි අපේ රට සමකා සම රට इलेक्ट्रिस right so then uh, small solar cells a single solar cell is a small one but you can use multiple solar cells connected together so these solar cells can generate a lot of energy large panels can even generate kilowatts megawatts of energy right so another thing this is important point highlighted in the book uh, disposing of these materials the cell cells chemical cells and dry cells when disposing so there are chemicals so we have to be very careful we should not release this directly or we should not release expose this directly to the environment as some materials can uh, actually spoil our environment and water sources okay then let's move to the next topic preparation of circuits actually we have discussed this part before how to create small circuit here you can see small setup with a switch battery and a bulb so two batteries are used and a bulb is used so this switch can control the bulb so switch so uh, put in the switch will turn on the bulb and release in the switch will turn off the bulb right there are standard symbols when drawing circuits i'll tell that next but for the moment just uh, understand by the pictures okay so then some this switch actually this switch we can connect using uh, so both side of the switch you can connect using wire and so using this different uh, uh, measurement units like ammeter milliammeter to measure very small current galvanometer to uh, see the direction as well as the voltage so we can use these things so these are very important galvanometer is using uh, just using a magnet inside that these are uh, kind of uh, analog mechanisms but nowadays we have digital ways digital mechanisms measuring these things uh, one single uh, uh, circuit or one single equipment that you can measure voltage current board is you can call uh, and the resistance that is multimeter so using multimeter you can measure all of this but the measure of galvanometer eva tibba meda bindu galvanometer ya milliammeter ammeter ammeter එකෙන් මන්නවට වඩා කුඩා දෙයක් තමයි මිලියමීටර් වලින් මන්නේ. ධාරාව. හැබැයි මෙහෙමයි දැන් අද වෙද්දි මේවා ගොඩක් වෙලා ඩිජිටල් ඒ වගේම දැන් මල්ටිමීටර් එකෙන් මල්ටිමීටර් කියලා යුනිට් එකක් තියෙනවා මේක පෙන්වලා නැහැ. ඒකෙන් ඔය ඔක්කොම මනින්න පුළුවන්. ධාරාවක් පුළුවන්. ඒක විභවාන්තරයක් පුළුවන්. වෝල්ටේජ් කැන් බි මෙෂර්ඩ්. ඇම්පියරේජ් කැන් බි මෙෂර්ඩ්. ඇන්ඩ් නොට් ඕන්ලි දැන් ද රෙසිස්ටන්ස් කැන් බි මෙෂර්ඩ්. ධාරාව විභවාන්තරය විතරක් නෙමෙයි ප්‍රතිරෝධය රෙසිස්ටන්ස් එකක් මනින්න පුළුවන්. So let's see the how how these measurements can be. So taken and before that, I said that I will be explaining about the symbols. So the symbols. So conduct. So a wire which conduct electricity, a conductor material. We just draw a line. Line like in pen and ne. Now the conductor conductor ki lekin sunlight ka sunlight ka wire ka. And the switch will be. Uh, displayed using this symbol this is switch symbol this is bulb symbol right so the bulb and then switch will actually break the circuit switch will give the control so you can turn on and turn off the uh, switch when whenever you need and you can control the power to this uh, output device maybe a bulb or some other circuit or motor by using a switch we can control it then uh, ammeter or milliammeter is used to measure the current and galvanometer is used to uh, find the 
for flow of the current, the small flow of current with the direction. Flow of the current with the direction. It shows whether it goes uh, negative side or the positive side. And the battery of the electric cells can be displayed using this uh, lengthier one and a short one, two lines. Plus side is in the longer, uh, minus side in the shorter one. Okay, now we can uh, draw the circuit. Can you try to draw the circuit uh, to this one? Uh, you can use uh, WhatsApp and to send it to me. Just see this and draw a circuit. Don't look at the book. But remember the symbols. What is the battery symbol? So you can just look at this page only, but don't look after that. Page number 119, 8.19. Sorry, 8. You know, 8.2. Table 8.2. Then try to draw this circuit. Be honest, right? What's up with anyone? You can send it this much. So how to draw? So these lines, like so, this, how do how to use the symbolic notation? Is basically you have to use uh, first of all the batteries. Battery will have to done a pen and no hurry. So here positive side, then there are two batteries. Ne? Likewise, there are long line, short line, there's two batteries. And after that, it's connected like this. And then a switch. Switch can be drawn this way. And then a bulb. Bulb is a circle and a cross. Circle. And this is how you show the bargain symbols, and after that, this line connects to the switch. Okay, this is the this is the result. So it's not difficult, right? So this is how you draw it: switch, bulb, and batteries. That is what you need to represent there. Understood? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. So, I have a name for name. Okay. Okay, the symbols you need to know, right? Okay, let's erase. You can see that's why I said don't look at this. So, because there is example given. This is a switch, this is a bulb. Uh, so, this is a switch, bulb, and this is a battery. But you need to draw two batteries as there were two batteries there. Okay. Then uh, if you are connecting galvanometer, ammeter, you need to show the connection is in G is for the galvanometer, A is for ammeter or milliammeter. Okay, see here there are two bulbs. So you can show that using two circles with the process and one switch, and this, this is parallel connection, two bulbs. Okay, what do you think? Which will look uh, right? Will will it be the same brightness or different brightness? So if bulbs connected this way, will it be the same brightness or the different brightness will be there? So which will be brighter, more brighter? So shall we try to construct this and see? So let's use this uh, simulation circuit. GT. And the circuit, DC circuit construction kit. Let's use this. Let's go to the circuit creation utility and try to create both circuits, right? The, you have to create the circuit in page number. So this is 120. There are two circuits. Let's create that two circuits now. Let's go to the lab. And we have to use a switch. And then what? Two bulbs. You can here use the symbolic notation, right? 
But this shows a different set of symbols. Switch resistor, the bulb is shown this way, battery is okay, the other one is okay. Okay, let's use the uh, graphical view. Two bulbs, then after that, one battery. And the plus side and the minus side. Let's connect that. Keep the battery here. Then a switch, switch is already there. Let's use some wires. Can you create the other circuit and tell me so which will look brighter here? When I turn on the bulbs, you can see the bulb will get equal amount of current. So if you measure it using a voltmeter or a meter or galvanometer, so let's use voltmeter. So let me measure the voltage of uh, voltage of the switch, both sides. You can see it's zero because like so it can be a small figure, but in like there is no resistance in between, therefore it's zero. Let's measure the bulb, this side and this side. You can see it takes uh, minus 0 0.5 because like the positive side is this, you have to keep the positive edge here, which is created the positive edge of the bulb and the negative is here, then it's measure at 4.5 voltage and at the same time, if you try to measure this voltage, it will measure as 4.5 voltage and the total between two bulbs is 9 voltage and the battery is also issued 9 voltage. All the the total amount of voltage issues by issued by the battery is consumed by the two bulbs, right? One will consume half, 4.5. The other one will consume another half, 4.5. Around the battery, you have, right? so in, in the battery, you are, battery is basically a nine volt battery. You can see that. Okay, let's create the other circuit and see. tell me the conclusion. Can you tell me the conclusion? Create the other circuit and can we tell it? Tell, can you tell me the conclusion quickly? Okay, the next one is the parallel connection. Parallel connection, a KD, you have to connect two bulbs. So, but uh, these two bulbs you need to connect parallelly. Parallelly means this plus and plus you need to connect. Plus and plus side you need to connect together. Then the minus and minus side also, you need to connect them to get the minus side with the minus side. Plus side with the plus side, minus side with the minus side. Then use a switch and battery similar to the previous one. And connect the plus side of the battery and the minus side of the battery. To the switch. Let's create the circuit and then turn on this. So after creating this circuit, let's try to see, let's try, let's try to turn on the switch and you can see the brightness of this is higher. So why brightness of this setup? The bulb brightness is lower and why this is higher? So can you imagine the reason, right? We can find the reason if you measure this using the voltmeter. If you measure the voltage, a single battery gate, a voltage closer to 5.5. So minus means you have like a side maru karama tama minus in the dana rin arieta. No karama with the patta tama rin aking ken anit patta tama. Anyway, the voltage is 4.5. Here also, if you measure, so both voltages are 9, but around one bulb voltage is 4.5. But here, if you measure, Here, here, if you measure the voltage, you can see the voltage obtained by the battery is 9, 9 volt. One, sorry, one, one bulb will get 9 volt. The another, the next, this bulb will also get 9 volt. The bulb became a bad The maker of 4.5, make it 4.5, they came up at over 9. Here, 9 volt, 9 volt. So if you measure both, Yes, the make a hatra de shampai, hatra de shampai, metan in the metan dumbbell on a vault, mame. A thumb difference. 
දැන් මේකෙ මම මෙන්න ලබා ගන්නවා මේකෙ මෙන්න ලබා ගන්නකොට එක බල් දෙකක නමයක් තියෙන ඊළඟ බල් දෙකේත් නමයක් තියෙන මෙතන බල් දෙකම අපරි ඩිෆරන්ස් එක කොච්චරද හලෝ මාව හැනවද yes sir yes or no hello yes sir hello sir i can hear sir mukad kade mat tikak adding wage ahenne so here 9 volt here 9 volt what is the gap what is the then for the both what will the value i cannot hear you properly for both also 9 volt are they kama specialty because because this battery is anyway given even 9 volt so if you measure here to here 9 here to here also 9 so this side 9 volt so because the 9 volt the complete voltage is shared by both bulbs so the brightness of the bulb will be high here the complete voltage is divided between the bulbs so the brightness will be lower can you draw this in the book can you draw this in the book i think it's better to draw this right with the voltmeter measurement <coughs> please draw this let's put the volt meter at the side right please draw this quickly this setup and this setup are bright bulb ke brightness ka pen na then only you can remember this draw this quickly you know there right the first thing is okay in the first in the first circuit in the first circuit bulbs are connected in the first circuit bulbs are connected parallelly in the first circuit bulbs are connected parallelly sorry uh, bulb are connected serially in the first circuit bulbs are connected serially voltage of the battery is 9 volt and it will be divided into two as there are two bulbs serially if there were 
three bulbs, it will be divided by three. Each bulb will get 4.5 volt according to the circuit. We have to assume that they are, we have to assume, but we have to ignore the resistance. We have to ignore resistance in the wire. The wire is resistant. We have to ignore the resistance in the wire. We have to ignore the resistance in in the second circuit, in the second circuit, bulbs are connected parallelly. Bulbs, bulbs will get the full voltage of the battery if wire resistance is ignored. Therefore, Bulbs will bulbs will be more brighter than the previous circuit one bulb for both bulbs will get closer to 9 volt okay, please complete this and let me know Volt bulb will get closer to nine volt. Right, the next part is right. So I think you know, now you can identify the symbols here. You are given a circuit and asked to identify the symbol. So this is a switch and this is a bulb. And this, what is this? A A is A is. This truss is a bulb, A is, cannot hear you, A is ammeter or milliammeter. Okay, so if you are connecting voltmeter, you are connecting this way, parallelly. Voltmeter ka connector, you are connecting parallelly. So this V, voltmeter, you are connecting parallelly. But ammeter, if you are connecting, you are connecting it serial way, like this. This is how the ammeter is connected. This is how the voltmeter is connected. You need to remember that as well, right? Okay, voltmeter is parallel, ammeter is serial. Serial kila kya ne? Ekka digarta mehema sambandha ve nonam serial kila kya. Again, make at a pass, make. Mehema nantama serial kila kya. Parallel kila kya ne? Parallel means 
So there are two simultaneous or two alternative paths. So that is what called the parallel, right? So I hope you can understand. Serial means in one line or in one connection. So all are connected to that. Parallel means there are two options, two optional connections or two options are there. Okay. Then uh, conductors and insulators. Okay, conductors are basically conductors very important in these conductors are uh, having free electrons. So do you know what electrons are? Electrons. Electrons can be the key to the No, sir. Right. Electrons are basically when you take, okay, so these things basically drug with atoms, paramanu. Yes. All right. Atoms are the smallest unit which these things are made, made up with atoms. Right? These atoms have in few elements. My atoms are the atoms that are within two elements. So one is this. Uh, so in atom has a nucleus. And it has electrons. Electron carry carry it. Are you up a solar system? Make a way up a solar system. Make a carry carry it in Eva get a mommy atoms. Atoms a lot. So there is a nucleus and there is surrounding electrons. Here you can see. So this is a view of atom. Atom is the smallest unit that things are made up with. They will draw the head in a kudama ketama paraman. If they paraman will have to let the enema. Electrons, this minus values are electrons, eva karaki karaki enema tater, and then you have protons and neutrons. Right? Protons kill a kene dana plus values. Electrons can be minus, minus values. Electrons are minus, protons are plus. But my neutrons can be ratu part, eva plus ut nati, minus ut nati jatiya. Danat ne, rinat ne. Okay, that is how atom is made. Now, so can you remember what is electron? Electron is a kind of element surrounding an atom. Atom me kak vate, vata karagani inna element te kak tama, Electron kill again, it has negative value. Right? So protons in the nucleus have in positive value. Now, can you remember? Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Uh, if you want, you can take a snapshot, but in your way. So this part is up to this level, no need to learn in your way. But just take a snapshot or screenshot of this. Because this part, this is right important, and you can remember. If you can remember this, this will be useful. So this is actually showing a carbon atom. So any any atom can be shown like this. Carbon atom has six protons, six neutrons, and how many electrons? One, two, three, four, five, six electrons. Okay, just take a screenshot. Then some of these. Okay, some of these materials or some of these solids, maybe liquids or gases, some of these are having free electrons. These electrons can jump from one atom to another atom. The Samahara Deval Tianama, Samahara Babi Tianama, Eva Gitinami electron will be panel. These electrons can jump from one atom to another atom. Electron can jump from one atom to another atom. That is the nature of these electrons. So not all, right? Not all are like that, especially in metals. Especially in metals, we can observe this behavior. Metals can be low. electrons Right? So I'll write that as a special point. No need to buy her. But just for your information, I am telling this. Right? Things are made of atoms. 
atoms got electrons protons and neutrons electrons protons and neutrons there are some elements and things which things which got free electrons especially in metals visheshama loha balame free electron dia these electrons these electrons can jump from one atom to another and move these moving electrons these moving electrons will allow the material to pass electricity these are known as these are known as conductors mem electron pass karanna puluwan kattiye api kiyana conductors kiyala conductors kiyanne sannayaka conductors it can pass electrons from one atom to another atom electron yalata pass kara kara yawanna puluwan right so you need to remember what so not this thing this is actually the technical explanation but no need to remember like this hmm? but if you can understand this it's very well because need, this will be needed in the in future grades so actually what you need to remember is conductors basically conductors can pass electricity actually you can create this setup and this switch is not connected in between the switch you can put some materials and key so let's say outer casing of the wire that is rubber no rubber is not a conductor it is insulator when you keep when you try to connect that using insulator the bulb will not light up me wage setup ekak khada ganna ko test karala switch ekak noda inna e wenoda den onna me eke eke wa tiyala balana me switch ekak langata rubber wire ekak tiyala balana hari yanne ne the bulb will not light up so then ha uh, you can do this practical again you see now a simulator ඒකයි මම මේක කොහොම හරි දාගන්න කියලා කිව්වමත් වාරට මේක කරවා ගන්න ඕන හින්දා මම කරන්න පුළුවන් වුණා නම් හොඳයි ඉතින් so let's uh, take a new file okay i'm going to take a battery and bulb and wire and this time i'm going to connect that
okay now you can see so this is the switch is not there so in uh, like i can put different things let's put a normal wire you can see the bulb will light up normal wire the bulb will light up means is it a conductor or insulator the normal wire is a conductor or insulator hello conductor conductor okay then i'm deleting that right i'm deleting this element i'm putting i'm placing a fuse you can see still the fuse will allow it to go through the uh, pass the current so it will light so fuse is having a conductor so let's use a dollar bill So is it a conductor or insulator? Hello? A dollar bill. I put that. The bulb is not turned on. Is it a conductor or insulator? Insulator. Yes, it's not a conductor. Let's put. Then the paper tape. What do you think? Will it be a conductor or paper tape? Conductor. Uh, paper clip is a conductor right it's a conductor yes right okay coin coin let's put the coin coin is also a conductor then what what else we have mm, eraser what do you think is it a conductor or insulator later it's an insulator. When you put that, nothing will happen, right? You can see it's not changing. Some are only some elements are having free free electrons to move, but some are not. Hand. What will happen if you connect hand? Conduct. Yeah, it can conduct some amount of current, but so it is very small amount. Therefore, the bulb will not light up because the hand, it has bigger resistance. It is not a conductor. So you can say it is a partial or weak conductor. It's not a good conductor. Then you have dog even. It's the same, right? It's also a weak conductor. So bulb will not light up. It's very weak. But uh, the thing is, if it is like AC current, or this is the same volt, it will pass. 230, then you can make current. Insulator. And so, like a carbon, like a poor conductor, and a bit too tough, poor, you know. Small amount of conductivity is there in carbon, right? That is uh, the pencil, pen, not the pencil. So, when you use uh, like this kind of pencil, both edges must be clean. The carbon rod must be taken out. That is a weak conductor. Okay, so here you need to identify these things. Now you can see different things. Uh, right, you have to put it and identify whether it's uh, sending the current or not. Materials which carry the electricity for conductors, materials which do not carry the electricity for are called insulators. Right here, materials conduct electricity known as conductors, materials that does not or do not uh, conduct electricity known as insulators. Okay, now I think we have the electronic appliances part. So we need to discuss some of the topics under that. And yes, I think next week we can discuss about that. Okay, then good night. Good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Um,